You guys chose a name? Yeah, Noah. Noah? Oh, Noah? 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 As in the guy with all the animals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Noah, Noah Alexander Perez. I wanted Elijah. But right, I was literally talking to the son of guys like, oh, what do you want your name to be? Because we have a list. And those are my those are my two favorite. And I was like, do you want it to be Elijah? And didn't move nothing. I was like, Noah? And started kicking. Like, literally, oh, f- yeah. it. And I was like, it was Noah. And I was like, no, 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 we're trying this again. And I was like, oh, that, was a, like that was a fluke. I was like, Elijah? Like, you want to be called Elijah? Nothing. I said, Noah? Started kicking. I was like, well, f- yeah, okay. Is the one speaking in Spanish or English? <laughs> because that can be an issue, too. I was like, when I moved to Cali, like, five years ago, we lived together in a firehouse, but it was only the us two for a couple of years, you know, eating the three meals a day together, going to the gym in the same car, you know. We, we start from nothing. I moved to California with what it was like four grand. He moved to Limore with, you know, a couple dollars and, you know, we f- make it. We grind, we train hard, we, we're there for each other and we just, we're just best friends. We, we're for, for each other. It's like Batman and Robin. Um, this week, he's Batman. He's about to conquer a world title and I'm here for that. He's always in my corner, or he'll fly out to my fights, and I fly out to his fights. Just good relationship, good person to have around. <coughs> I've always fought just for myself, you know. Um, now it's a little bit different. I'm about to be a dad, and uh, it's probably one of the most exciting things in my life right now. And I'm excited to fight for him. It's a little bit different, you know. It's a good feeling, you know, but a lot more responsibility. Foi perfeito, esquenta, a gente saiu de uma luta boa, sem lesão nenhuma. Na verdade, a gente traçou várias estratégias, né? Como dizia o Mike Tyson, a estratégia vai até o primeiro golpe, né? Então a gente precisa ter o plano B e o plano C já. Então a gente não sei como a luta vai terminar, mas se a luta precisar ser um nocaute, vai ser um nocaute. Se precisar ir pro chão e acabar finalizando... E se, pre- se eu tiver que lutar os cinco rounds, nós vamos estar melhor preparados para terminar os cinco rounds e ter a mão levantada. I think I'm an exciting fighter. Uh, I definitely chase performances uh, a little bit more than uh, than the win. I think that leads to exciting fights. I think my style and just like who I've looked up to throughout my MMA life and like who I kind of base my styles off of are like the most exciting and my, all my favorite fighters, you know, because like, I'm, I'm a fan first. My favorite fighters, Nick Diaz, uh, Anderson Silva, BJ Penn, great strikers who do jiu-jitsu. I kind of based my style a little bit off of them. It's just crazy, man. It's a dream come true. I never expected to turn pro. I never expected to do what I've done so far. And uh, it's just been kind of a big shock within myself, man. Uh, It's crazy. John Anik, uh, Dana Cormier, I'm, 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 Heidi Andra, Zach and Dudo, our producer, you're going to be right in front of the laptop. That's what it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no in person anymore. No, <laughs> not in these tight quarters. So 
your sister, who I know is celebrating a birthday tomorrow and is fighting on the card, what is her biggest value to you? All my training partners, they are uh, so different. Everyone has different skills, fighting skills. But Antonina, her height, her like distance, her striking, it's like a very high level, very top level. And of course, it's like giving me a lot of uh, trouble <laughs> to, to spar with her. How happy does it make you feel knowing that there's some new blood? I mean, we saw Jessica do it. We saw Cynthia Calvillo do this fight this weekend too. Like how exciting is it for you to see people coming into a weight class to challenge a dominant champion like you are. It's becoming way, way more interesting each day. And I think it's the optimal weight class for uh, girls because um, there is so many talented girls. And if you would watch um, each contender top 15, they are all strong. And this is uh, like, keep me motivated to do my best during the training. And I think the flyweight, it's going to be the most interesting weight class in all female divisions of UFC. <laughs> well, Dina, thank you so much. We appreciate your time sincerely. And uh, we will see you tomorrow morning, I guess, if not sooner. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Davidson, real quick. Not too long ago, the division seemed to be in trouble. What does it mean to you to be at the very top of this particular pay-per-view in this event? Bom, eu digamos que eu sou vocalista da da categoria. Então eu sempre cheguei para dar show, eu cheguei para reanimar a categoria. E vocês podem ter certeza. A minha luta de sábado vai ser um show e mais uma vez eu vou provar ao evento que a categoria 57 kg merece estar. É sobre aplausos. Obrigada. Eu tive um trabalho bem longo. Eu trabalhei tão duro que eu tinha certeza que ia chegar aqui a nocautear o Benavides e ia levar o cinturão para casa. E quando conquistei o cinturão foi a maior felicidade do mundo para mim, cara, voltar sabendo que o meu povo estava muito feliz comigo. So, e que eu estava levando o cinturão para casa para cumprir uma promessa que eu fiz ao meu avô. Perfect, Mike. Good to go. Bom, o Pérez com certeza veio para querer trocar comigo, me colocar para baixo, eu estou preparado para ele. Eu sou um cara bem, compre... bem completo, okay. próximo a ele. Yeah, ah, o Pérez vai ser finalizado, eu tenho certeza. Ele vai querer me colocar para baixo, eu vou finalizar ele. Round. Primeiro round ainda. Okay. Aqui é, é o dia, aqui é o local do sábado, aqui é o local da guerra no sábado. Local terror, já se imagina como é que vai nocautear ou finalizar.